now to find the area of this kite okay let's say the length of this okay the diagonal of this is x okay and the length of this is is y okay now if you think about it okay you actually have two triangle okay two triangle triangles so let's say this one here see you got this one i just do this first and then this one see this top here see the top here see you got one triangle on the top and the other one down bottom okay so this this triangle here we can simply just work it out area of a triangle yeah so now and then we're gonna double up because both triangles are the same the top and the bottom are the same right so let's say the the length of this okay the length of this is high is x this one here okay is x so therefore the length of this this here must be a half of x yeah because this is here as half as well together we give you x so the area of this triangle is a half area is a half okay time by time high because area triangle is a half time by time high just remember that so now which is the base the base is this length here all the way from this that length to this length so which is y so a half of y okay time the height the height is half of height a half of x so time a half of x you see now if i simplify this okay i just draw a line here because i run out of space so if if i simplify this a half okay time a half it give me a quarter so the area of this is a quarter a quarter of x time y so which is x y but because area of the chi which is both you got two triangle here so all i do is this is double see so that cancel out that give me two so that means area of a triangle of, of the both triangle which is area of a kite is a half of x plus y you see so therefore area of a kite is a half of two diagonal time together okay please remember this for me okay area of a kite is a half x y which is a half of two diagonal time together okay now this is a rhombus okay so let's say the diagonal of this the vertical of this is x okay let's say this x and this is y the length of this so if you look at this again okay you see two triangle so i can just do the top here i circle this i mean i highlight this one so this is the top this one here is a triangle with with this yeah and the bottom is another triangle of course is exactly the same same size yeah so what i do i just work out the area of the top so area of this is again a half time by time high so the base okay I'm, I'm just focus on this or the bottom they're the same i just look at the top because the diagonal of this is x so from here to here must be a half of x again so half time base, base is y, so time by y, time the high, which is time by a half of x. So which is a half time a half, this one, a half time a half, give me a quarter. So that means a quarter of x time y, which is x, y. See, now we got two triangles, okay? So I just double it to give me two triangles. If I double, okay, if you think about it, so you got therefore okay area of a rhombus which is a half x y because two times with a quarter you left with two so a half x y so again okay area of a kite and area of a rhombus which is exactly the same rule okay so please remember that for me let's do this now okay so this shape is a kite so remember okay area sorry i just changed my my pen first so which is i'm gonna use this okay now let's do these questions 
So remember, area of a kite, okay, is a half x y, which is a half of di both diagonal time together, which is equal to a half time twelve point five and times seven. Okay, so that's that's what you do. You just apply in the rule, and then you if you use your calculator, you should get okay forty three point. 75 centimeter square let's say for this rhombus okay so let's say the length from here to here from this end to this end is four centimeters okay of course this from this rank all the way to the end four centimeters so this end must be four centimeters right because diagonal of a rhombus are bisect each other so let's say this is three centimeters this must be three centimeters, right? So, area of a rhombus is a half x y, which is two diagonal time together. So, because from here to here is three, so therefore another three here as well. So, which is all together the di diagonal are the diagonal of this are six, which is a half times six, and then from this end to this end as well. Is another diagonal so which is 4 plus 4 which is 8 so you time by 8 okay so if you time by 8 so half of 8 is 4 4 times 6 is 24 so you should get 24 centimeter square okay okay so area of this again area is a half XY okay is a half XY so which is is equal to a half time the two diagonal together which is 12.7 times 8.5 you see so if you type that in your calculator okay you should get 54 okay point zero okay in fact the answer the answer here of this is 53.975 so around to one decimal place so at one two to 9 which is 10 so which is 54.0 so the unit is centimeter square if I want to keep the answer in answer in one decimal place all right so let's move on number five so uh, number four I mean let's say this rhombus here has I just draw this diagonal first has the um, the diagonal is let's say all the way from here to here Let's say it's 15 centimeters, yeah, all the way from one end to another end. And from here, which is all the way, so diagonal of this, let's say seven centimeters, right? Um, so therefore, okay, area of this shape here, which is rhombus, is a half, again, two diagonal time together, a half xy. That's all, we just apply the rules. So which is a half time seven time 15 you get that so which is 52.5 okay don't forget the unit which is centimeter square let's say this kite here okay the length of ic let's say i might uh, write here let's say ic okay ic is 17 centimeters okay i just swap this off first so ic equals 17 centimeters okay and bd bd equal 10 centimeters so i want to find the area of this kite here okay so if you think about it okay ic is all the way from here to here okay so this is ic so which is one diagonal and the other one bd is 10 so which is bd is here bd is 10 so actually the two diagonals are given so all i need to do is just apply the rule area of this is a half x y two diagonals okay so which is a half time 10 times 17 so i will get 85 centimeter square see very simple okay just apply the rules okay to find out the area okay of this kite here so first of all we need to find the length of the diagonals right 
So one of this length is eight plus eight. You get that? And this length here, okay, is seven plus ten. So therefore, first of all, the diagonal one of them is eight double eight, which is sixteen, and the other one is ten plus seven, which is seventeen. Right? Now the rule, remember, area of a of a kite or a rhombus is a half x y so which is a half times 16 and times 17 so if you put that in your calculator and you should get 136 centimeters square okay so a half times 16 times 17 okay so if you put that in your calculator you get you get 136 because they don't give there's no unit here so we'll just put unit square okay so that's the answer to find the area of the shaded okay so what we need to do you can see there's a rectangle and a kite so simply you just find the area of rectangle you take away the area of the kite that's all so let's say I'm going to find area rectangle first. Area rectangle R, okay, or just A1, doesn't matter how you name it. So area rectangle is length time width, so which is 19 times uh, 15. You see? And the answer is 285, okay, centimeters square. See, the edge, that is area rectangle. Now, area of a kite, the kite inside, is remember is a half x y which is two diagonal time together which is a half time the length okay is 19 that means the diagonal and then time the shorter diagonal which is 15 as well so that should give me uh, 14 142.5 okay centimeter square you see now i i I'm just going to write on here. So therefore, the area shaded is 285 minus 142.5. So it give me, okay, it give me 142.5 centimeters square. That is how you find the area of this, okay, composite shapes, if you like. Okay. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to do, Try uh, four questions for me, okay? This is two questions here, okay? You, of course, you're gonna pause the video and try to do it, see if you can get this answer, okay? Answer is given, highlighted, okay? So you can check, see if you got the same answer with me. Now remember, you must show working out, okay? It's about the process, I'll give you answer already. So it's another two of these, this, so area uh, of a kite, and then this on question number four is area kite and rectangle. I mean square. So all I want you to do for number four is find the area shaded. Okay, see if we can do. All right. Thank you so much for watching my video.